Hello, everyone. Welcome to this month's Connect with Control M. Today, we will be talking about the scheduling with calendars and smart folders. My name is Hugo Arguello. I am a technical support analyst at VMC Software. I support Control M products for distributed systems in America. Sometimes we face questions on the use of smart folders, like how smart folders work, or what is the benefit of using smart folders. In the following minutes, we are going to answer these questions. Today, panel is conformed by Ruben, Richard, and Ronnie. If you have any questions at any time of this presentation, please feel free to enter them in the Q&A panel. We will cover them at the end of the session. Finally, you can save this presentation by, by going to File and Save. This is the agenda of the session. First, I will mention differences between smart and regular folders. Then I will talk about rule-based calendars and how to use them on smart folders. On smart folder scheduling, I will talk about the just condition feature and time settings. Finally, I will cover some highlights of subfolders. Then we will have a demo and at the end a Q&A session. So let's start. Here are some differences between smart and regular folders. Regular folders can include one or more jobs and organize them according to scheduling criteria. Jobs in a regular folder are normally processed independently of each other. Each job is handled according to its own job processing definition. Instead, subfolders can include jobs and subfolders handling and out conditions, use calendars, time limit settings, and control resources. Smart folders are a unit of work. This means it is possible to monitor its status in the monitoring domain and perform actions which affect jobs and subfolders into it, like hold, free, and delete. Jobs and subfolders that are contained in the smart folder inherit the scheduling definitions. Also, it is possible to define post-processing tasks for when a job finishes or when all, this, all the jobs or subfolder in the smart folder finish. Here are some smart folder benefits. There's no need to define scheduling for each, for each job. It allows you to handle conditions of non-scheduled jobs. And there's no need to set time limits for each job. Note that it's important uh, to mention that Smart folders are not ordered when jobs doesn't meet any scheduling criteria. Now let's talk about calendars. Smart, fol smart folders use rule-based calendars and folder rule-based calendars. Folder rule-based calendars are only available for the subfolder and jobs that are defined into the smart folder that use them. Control M rule-based calendars are available for all entities on the Control M server. Rule-based calendars are created based on specific rules, and there don't, there's no need to define them year by year. Regular calendars, instead, are created based on days of the month and need to be defined year by year. It is possible to use rule-based calendars to exclude the smart folders for ordering. Here are some features on smart folder scheduling. A just condition is a parameter used to ignore prerequisite conditions set by predecessor jobs that are not scheduled. It is only available for jobs into the smart folder. Some ordering features are available in case of manual ordering of jobs, like ordering a job with a different date than the current one, or create a new instance of the smart folder. Set time limit to have jobs running at a certain period of time of the day. Subfolders are included into the smart folder and are used to organize jobs. Subfolders are similar to smart folders. Monitor its status in the monitoring domain, set in and out conditions, or define post-processing tasks for when the job of subfolder finishes.
Now let's go to the demo. During this time, I will explain about calendars, adjust conditions, variables, control resources, time settings, subfolders into smart folder, and ordering parameters. Let's go to the lab machine to see this. First, I will talk about calendars. Smart, smart folders use folder rule-based calendars and control M rule-based calendars, as we can see here. In this specific example, this smart folder is using this folder calendar. Note the calendar name. Now let's go to the calendars window. As you can see here, that folder calendar is not available here. That is because the folder calendar is only available in that exclusive or that specific smart folder. This is an example of a rule-based calendar. Rule-based calendars are created based on specific rules. In this example, this calendar is set with the first five days of the month. Here is an example of a regular calendar. Regular calendars are created based on days of the month and is necessary to set the year. Now, let's see an example of adjust conditions. Imagine that your manager asks you to set to schedule three jobs and set conditions among them. Job A to job B and job B to job C. Job A and job C run every day, but job B only runs on Mondays. It is possible to use the adjust condition feature in order to have this done. There are two methods to do this. In both methods, it is necessary to set the adjust condition parameter to yes, as we can see here. In the monitoring domain, I will show you these examples. Here is the first example. In this first method, the in condition of job C is ignored. To do this, it is necessary to update a control M server parameter. The control M server parameter can be updated from the configuration manager. In the configuration manager, select the control M server and then system parameters. Now, look for parameter CTM adjust condition scope and set it to AJF. Doing this, doing this, the, the in condition or the condition of, of the non scheduled job will be ignored as we can see here in the monitoring domain. Notice that right after the smart folder is released, the job starts to run. Here is the second method. In the second method, a dummy job is created to handle the condition of the non-scheduled job. To do this, it is necessary to update another parameter from the configuration manager. In the configuration manager, select again the control M server and then go to system parameters. Now let's look for parameter CTM folder at just dummy and set it to yes. This parameter will create the dummy job in order to handle the condition of the non-scheduled job, as we can see here. So Right after the smart folder is released, you can see that the condition is handled by this dummy job. This method is also useful in order to, to keep the integrity of the workflow. Now let's see an example of uh, how to use variables in smart folders. Let's say that you require to pass variables to certain jobs. It is possible to define variables in the smart folders, as we can see here. In this example, this smart folders has these, these three different variables defined. In the monitoring domain, I will show you the behavior of this. The job, jobs in the smart folder need to, need to call the variable defined in the smart folder. So selecting your properties, 
you can see that this job is using the variable defined in the smart folder, as we can see here. In the job output, we can see that the job is capable to resolve the value of this variable. In this case, it is easier to change variables in the smart folder than in each job. Now, let's see another example. Imagine that you require to avoid issues on jobs running at the same time. It is possible to define control resources on smart folders. This smart folder is using an exclusive resource, as we can see here. This other smart folder is using a shared resource, as we can see here. Now, let's go back to the monitoring domain. Notice that I'm going to release this smart folder first and this other one. Note that the smart folder shared is in blue. This is because it is waiting for the, for the resource that is in use by the exclusive smart folder. Once the resource is available, jobs in the shared smart folder start to run. Now let's see an example of time settings. Let's say that you require to schedule jobs to start running at a certain period of time of the day. So it is possible to set the time in the smart folder. In this example, this smart folder is scheduled to run at this time. In the monitoring domain, I will show you how this works. You can see that jobs are not running and the smart folder is in gray. Doing waiting info in the smart folder will show that it's waiting for the time to come. Also, jobs are waiting for the same time. Now let's see an example of subfolders. Let's say that, that you require to organize jobs of uh, the payroll application. Um, the, executives, the executives group has to be paid only after the IT group is paid. So it is possible to define subfolders into the smart folder in order to have jobs organized. Notice that it's possible to handle in and out conditions on the subfolder. So releasing the smart folder in this way, jobs in the first subfolder will start to run. After job finish, after the subfolder finishes, we we'll let the out condition for the executives to run, as we can see here. Now let's see one last example. Let's say that you required. Let's say that you required a special run of certain application jobs, and you don't want to use jobs currently ordered. It is possible to say it is a, there are some ordering parameters available in order to do this. Select the job you want to order, do right click on it, and select order. In this order window, you can see that we have some options, some ordering options. For example, it is possible to select a different date than the current one, as you can see here. There are some other parameters available. Select new in order select new to order a new smart folder and a new job. Select recent to order a new job in the current smart folder. Selected will require the order ID of the smart folder where you want to order the job. And finally, standalone, that will order the job outside the smart folder. Now let's go back to our presentation. This is what I demoed. I showed you some examples on calendars, adduce conditions, variables, control resources, 
time settings, subfolders into smart folders, and ordering parameters. Here are some articles that can help you out. The first article has more details about the Just Condition feature, CTM folder at Just Dummy, and CTM at Just Condition scope parameters. In the second, in the second article, you will find more information about regarding uh, uh, about the smart folders. Thank you for taking time out of your day to attend. I hope the information provided was useful. You will be receiving a survey as you close the webinar. We encourage you to fill it out and provide feedback on where we, ha we can improve and future topics you would like to see. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our past webinars can be viewed on BMC Communities, YouTube and iTunes. Today's webinar will be posted there in a couple of days. Our next webinar topic will be job scheduling techniques.